Hey everybody, Arnaldo Waffman here with Master School Dances and today I want to talk to you about the American Audio CPX uh, series of speakers but mostly I want to talk to you about the CPX 10A as I've been using this one for quite some time now actually since the moment they shipped immediately ordered mine and want to tell you a bit about my experience some of the features and what I've been using these for. So first let's go ahead and look at what the CPX series is all about. American Audio wanted to come out with a speaker that sounded good, that was affordable because especially if you're just first starting out, you may not be able to afford some of the really you know, high-end type speakers, but you want something that's reliable and that isn't going to sound horrible. The CPX series really delivers on that. What I got out of it was a nice heavy-duty cab and when I actually plugged it in and heard it, it sounded great. What the CPX series is not is a high-powered speaker, meaning that you're not going to just put in two tens and run hundreds of people with no issue. For example, the CPX 10A has a 250 watt continuous rating, of course, with a Class D amp. But the way that it had set up is, you know, there's, of course, a limiter that, you know, protects you from stupidity, but it goes through your electronic crossover, which goes through a bi-amp design. Now, if you don't know what that means, that means there's two amps in there, one for the woofer and then one for the highs. Uh, you do have your clip and thermal protection because remember, distortion is what kills a speaker, but so can heat. So again, the thermal protection is gonna protect you from that as well. But the thing that impressed me was, was the most was the heavy duty Road Warrior cabinet design and even the sticker is Road Warrior. And I make a joke about that because I have been using this as a monitor. I've been using it for cocktails. I've been using it for a couple of rentals. Uh, I even use it just outdoors for personal use. And I don't have covers for these yet. And this has been getting banged around, tossed in. And if you look, actually, <clears throat> you can't even really see it either, but this side right here, and I know it's this side because there's, you know, obviously a little bit of wear and tear on the screws. Uh, I was using it as a monitor and it was kind of in my way where I put it because I wasn't really thinking it too well. So instead of me just lifting it up in the middle of the event, I just kind of started pushing it. And you could hear the uh, where it went against the stage and it left a mark on the stage, but nothing here. So again, no cases on these at all including where one of my pipe and drape poles slid right across the whole part here. And again, it, it, the whole speaker in general is just so well made. I'm really, really impressed with that because this is a very heavy duty design. I mean, when you lift this thing up, it, it feels rock solid and it is lightweight, but it's not the lightest weight speaker or the most lightweight speaker for a 10 inch cabinet. It is one of the heavier 10 inch cabinets that I've used, but again, the heavy case to me makes it worth it. But at the same time, you do have the M8 fly point. So we have one here on the bottom and then we've got four on the top. So if you need to fly this speaker, you're gonna be able to do so effortlessly. Now, if you've never flown speakers before, don't just go in there, attach clamps and call it a day. Make sure you do your research, understand what you're doing. Cause once you're flying heavy things, obviously there's, you know, chances that you take. So you wanna make sure that you do things right. Now that we got that disclaimer out of the way, let's look at the back of this guy right here. So the CPX 10A, which is the 10 inch driver, there is, uh, you have four individual, excuse me, five individual knobs, right? You've got your mic level and there's an XLR mic in. You have your line level. Now with your line level, you can do XLR line in or you can do uh, RCA. So you can plug in your mixer or you can plug in your iPod or if your mixer doesn't have uh, quarter or XLR out so you can just do RCA out whatever you guys should know this part right then of course we have our volume knob we've got one for the treble and we've got for bass that's it now part of the way that they kept this at a very incredibly affordable rate was to lose some of the features that not everybody needs so you know as far as the crossover you know cutoff button None of that's there. If you're gonna use it with a sub, you can take your bass down a little bit. It doesn't have, you know, front of house mode, monitor mode and all that. By getting rid of that, they basically created a speaker that sounds good, that is reliable, but is super affordable. Because in my opinion, I like that they sacrificed this versus sacrificing the cabinet design or the sound overall. The CPX 10A is also very well balanced. Now, what I mean by that, now I'm talking about sound, I'm talking about weight. This means that if I carry here, or here, or here, it's not gonna kind of tilt in one direction. You know when you sometimes pick up a speaker and it just wants to keep going in one direction when you're holding it? This one's not so much. This is nicely well balanced, so I can carry a couple of them with no problems there. 
The CPX-10A comes in four sizes. You have an eight inch, which is obviously smaller than the 10. You have the 10, you have the 12, and the 15. The bigger the size, the more power, ergo the more volume output that they're going to be able to handle. The reason that I bought the smaller 10 is because I think 10 is a great size for mobile use. It's a great size for monitor use. For, you know, in mobile, I mean cocktails, ceremonies, rentals. The eight inch is even better. But when I compare the sound of both of them, I really like the fullness of the 10 versus the eight. Because of course, the eight has a smaller driver. It didn't have the bass response that the 10 had. The 12 and the 15, of course, have even more of a well-rounded sound because of the larger drivers. But in general, for the price, for what I need to use it for, the CPX 10A, 10A came out the clear winner for the use that I needed it. So again, I've been using it quite a bit for monitoring use more than anything else because of the heavy duty design. You know, if I drop something on it, if I move it with my feet to adjust the monitor angle, if I use it for a concert, you know, maybe I'm working with a 69 boys or a Cupid and you know, they're, because they, these guys, they will always jump and dance on the stage around a lot. If they accidentally kick my monitor, pff, not a big deal. It's happened, you know? And I've done it before. I've worked with artists or bands and sometimes one of them accidentally bumps into the monitor and the monitor falls off, you know, to the side or, you know, whatever. If this happens, I know this is gonna be able to take the abuse. And if for some reason it does die in the middle of an event or anything bad happens to it because monitors always get a lot of abuse, at the price point, it's not a big deal. But the sound out of it, I was really, really impressed with. So first, as soon as I plugged it in, you know what I mean? I started playing my favorite artist ever, which is Frank Sinatra. I did some rap, I did some EDM, a little, I did a little bit of everything. And I did get a nice separation in sound between the highs and the lows. This means that I could clearly hear the highs and differentiate from the lows, okay? I don't know if I really had to explain that, but the lows on this, for, especially for a 10 inch driver, they do have a really nice sound to it. The highs are a little bright. I know a lot of DJs like that. I like mine a little bit more flat. But again, you know, just like with most speakers, I can adjust a little bit from the back or I can use the equalizer on my system to take care of it. In general though, when you see the price point, when you see the features and when you hear the sound, this is an amazing speaker in its class. So if you're just getting started with DJing and you want a good solid speaker that's gonna give you sound and it's gonna take care of those smaller events for you, the CPX is a clear winner. If you've been doing this for a while like I have and you don't want to use your high, high-end speakers for rentals because you know people are gonna destroy them or you don't wanna use them for monitors because again, monitors get abused. This is a great speaker for that. If you need something that you can put outdoors for some time and use it out there and not worry about, you know, well, what happens if dirt gets on or anything like that, I'm telling you, this heavy duty design is really good. My name is Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. Again, the American Audio CPX 10A. I love it. You'll love it. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.